my major was engineering and my minor is philosophy. So as you can tell, I'm actually a really logical guy. So for a long time, I never think it's necessary to tell story because my idea was if I can persuade you with number, with data, with logic, why should I tell a story? But no, I was wrong because people don't take actions based on logic. They take actions based on emotion, which means if I can tell a story, I can influence others better. Because of that, I started to research how can I tell stories. Now, there are so many, so many information about telling a story. So I was so frustrated until I found this book. So this book is called The Hero with a Thousand Faces, right? So in this book, the author, he studied all the best stories all around the world and in the history. And he found that all the best stories are basically of the same structure, which means if you go to China, or if you go to India, or if you go to Europe, and you take their best story, and you can compare them, you, found, you will find that it's all basically of the same structure. So it's really amazing, right? So right now, all the Disney movie, all the Hollywood movie, or even all the best-selling novel are following the same structure and he called that structure the hero's journey right so if you google the hero's journey you will find the giant circle and that's how you can write a really epic like story but the problem with the hero's journey is that because it's so uh, complicated right so sometimes if you want to apply that to your content it's really hard and sometimes it's really hard for you to structure that kind of story as well so how can we do about that? How can we apply the same thing to our content? Now, a few years ago, I read another book called Asper's Secret. So the author, um, Russell Brunson, he took the hero's journey and he simplified that. So right now, there's a new framework you can use that to tell a story. And guess what? It's actually easier for you to tell a story based on this framework. So that's how what I'm going to share with you today. So here is here, Hero's True Journey. So in this, um, in this framework, there are basically seven different components, right? So the first one is you want to talk about the desire of your main character. So you are talking about the backstory. So maybe he or she wanted to like lose weight, right? So maybe he or she tried like um, a fasting or maybe dieting or exercising but they will bump into a wall. So right now they try to lose weight, but they cannot do that. They bump into a wall, they don't know how to do. Then they will maybe read something or listen to something, and then they get a new epiphany. Maybe they get a new idea, they get an aha moment, then it comes a new opportunity, right? So then based on the new opportunity, maybe um, intermediate fasting, it's a new idea in the uh, fitness world, right? Then they come up with a new plan. They say, hey, I want to implement that to my daily life. But then there's a conflict. Maybe their family disagree with that. They say, hey, it's not healthy to do that. You should not do that. You should eat your breakfast. So right now they have a fight, right? They have argument. But then um, after like overcoming those uh, disagreements, they actually lose weight. So right now there's achievement. Also, there's a mental growth, what we call transformation. They say, oh, and they know how to deal with this kind of disagreement better. So that's how you structure the entire story. The first one is you want to introduce the backstory, introduce the main characters and their desire, right? Then after they try to do achieve their goal, they will bump into the wall, right? So the wall is something that stops them from achieving their goal. Then they will learn something maybe from a book, or from an audio, from a smart guy, from a, from a wise person, then they got epiphany, they got a new opportunity, then they will try to come up with a plan. Then after try, they trying to implement the plan, there will be some conflict. Then after overcoming those obstacles, they will be achieve their goal, right? And they will transform, they will grow. Um, so the inside growth is actually really important in this kind of framework. So for another example, a few years ago, I was an engineer. So that's the backstory. And I wanted to quit my 9 to 5. So I tried to do drop shipping. So that's the thing I tried to do. I, I bumped into the wall because I didn't make much money from that. 
I feel really frustrated. So the ball. Then I did some research. I go online and I found the reason why it's hard for me to make money is because everyone is selling the same thing. So that's epiphany. So I I was wondering how can I do to overcome that. So how about I just sell a different things? And the easiest thing for me to sell is online training. So that's a new opportunity. So I got the plan. I wanted to sell my courses on the internet, right? So that's the plan. Then I upload my courses to my website, but I didn't know how to drive traffic. So I was I make zero sale. But then I got another idea. How about I just upload the same content to like website like Udemy? So then I overcome that. Then I starting to make money online. Also, I feel more confident about myself. So, so as you can see, you can easily fit your personal experience into this structure. So you can apply this storytelling framework to all of your content, and you can make your content funner to watch and easier to understand. So that's it for two heroes two journeys. I hope you enjoyed that. I will see you soon in the next video.